Hello, Nam 2018, here with the legendary Steve Chick from Industrial Radio. Hey, hi, how are you doing? <laughs> so, I mean, Steve is like the godfather of MIDI guitar and MIDI bass, really, aren't you? you, you... Well, I'm, I'm more known for MIDI bass than guitar, yeah. but, but we're getting into guitar now, which is a lot of fun, so... Great. We're, we're applying a lot of the, the knowledge over the years we've learned in bass across to the guitar, and that's going pretty good. I'm re really pleased with the way the system has turned out. So. And that's using fret sense. Yeah, well, that's our whole thing is what, like, I guess we're the anti-latency society of mini guitar and bass <laughs> because it's just, it's just a vibe suck to, for that to happen. So, you know, everything we try to do, we try to make it you know, respond as quickly as possible because that's what guitarists expect. You, you hit a string, you want the note coming out instantaneously. You don't want latency because it kills the rhythm, especially for a rhythm guitarist. Like, rhythm guitarist is a pretty important word. <laughs> right, okay. But, I mean, other than actually the fret sensing, you've got a bunch of other, te a bunch of other technologies that come together. Yeah, the, the main thing that we've, we've done is, in our research on, on MIDI guitar and MIDI bass, is that we found that you, you, you can go so far with the like a, a, a MIDI instrument as such, but then you can take it no further until you start addressing the synthesis side of things. And what we've done is we've developed this um, technique called Imprint. So we developed our own plugin, uh, the Imprint plugin. And what we do now is we we imprint. That's a good word for it. We imprint the sound of the string of the guitar onto the synth. So it's if you make a crazy little noise on your bass or your guitar, rather than this big noise jumping out going, here's the note I didn't want to play, what Imprint does is it tames it and makes it a little noise. So what it does is it actually embraces the noise of guitar rather than making it a problem. And it's really, it's a really, it's a su very subtle thing, but it, until you play, you don't realize how essential it actually is. So I suppose in the, in the case of bass playing, we're like you may be like talking about like ghost notes and when you slap bass and all, all the kind of artifacts. The artifacts all translate. Right. Yeah. Okay. And it's, and it's like the artifacts of the synth sound that you're, you're... So every time you play it, different sounds will have, you know, different artifacts. But fundamentally, the, the actual feel of the synth will be like the feel of the bass. So that's about like string energy, so transfer, string. not just note on, note off, but this is actually yeah. more capturing and the string energy. And it's a little bit more complex because because of the uh, what we call the fret sense system, we, we know the, we always know like what the fundamental note that you're playing is from reading it from the fingerboard. And then w we can analyze the actual signal and break it up into all its different harmonics and seeing what you're playing. And at the moment with our first, our first rendition of Imprint, we split it into like a bass and treble. We take like the first and second harmonic, and then the, I think it's, I can't remember, it's four, four, eight, the higher pitched ones, and we break it into two parts. So if you play the instrument like in a sort of a trebly way, like really crunch the string, the actual synth sound will tend to crunch as well. So it implies even more, it's actually got like, as, as well as regular dynamics, it has like harmonic dynamics as well. Ah, interesting. So what, if we just swing the camera in here a minute, we'll just have, um, this is the interface for, uh, so the, the, like a D, that's the connector that will then go to the instrument. So, and you can, if you see here, you can see there's uh, frets are, they have sensors under each of the frets. And over here, we can see the guitar has got the set. So the um, an imprint is something then that would work with with the guitar as well oh, as bass. It's it's in a way I think maybe imprint is even more important for the guitar because on a bass, you know, you're fundamentally pumping away on one string. Yeah. But on a guitar, you you're hitting six strings. So it's really what it does is it tames the energy of the strings. So as it just gets, it just feels like a guitar when you're playing it, rather than some foreign sort of instrument. It, it guitarifies the sense, and that's what a guitarist wants is to play a guitar, or a bass player sort of wants to play a bass, but with new sounds. But yeah. And then, so in terms of interfacing it, then, so uh, uh, imprint then runs on the computer. Then is a, so yeah, it, it, it is a sophisticated setup, 
But at the end of the day, it's just a file to be loaded on your computer. We're using Ableton Live. That's sort of our sort of door of choice or for a live setup. It seems to be what everyone's using now. So it's not a, it's not a big ask to get people to set up on using Ableton Live. And we just find it's, it's a really reliable sort of system. And it's just been working fantastic for us. So. Now, is this a, like a separate product from your your instruments, or is this something that's included when you? Oh no, it's all included in it. Included. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and and that's available now. Yep. 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 So it's all good to go, and it's all good to go. so uh, we're, if people are interested, head to the web websites. Yeah, industrialradio.com.au to get all the details on it. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. That's yeah. brilliant. Okay. Guys. okay.